Hey, listen up. Stay away from the James River today and tomorrow. That's not a warning from us. That's from the city of Richmond because the water could reach dangerous levels. Yeah, it comes as multiple people were rescued on the James River overnight. Brendan King is live with what you need to keep in mind. Brendan. Yeah, this morning, Robin Reba, the National Weather Service has issued a flood warning for the James River for today and visitors like you just mentioned, they were urged to avoid the James River at all costs entirely today and through tomorrow. And here's why the water rescues they've already started. We caught up with this one last night. This is around 11 o'clock at the Tredegar Street put in. We're told two people were stuck on the rocks in the James and crews sent three boats to bring everyone back to safety. We're told everyone is OK. And as for today and tomorrow, water levels could reach more than 13 feet. And a few weeks ago, I spoke to a longtime river guide about the dangers of the high waters. People don't understand the power. Their feet come up off the river bottom and they're floating downstream. They get caught in a jet of current, not understanding how quick that'll take them downstream and then start hitting rocks. Yeah, this is the canal that you're looking at live right now. And at 6 a.m., you can see the water has already risen well past the grass and almost to the top of the fences there. So right now, the city is closing several streets and areas surrounding the James River, and that includes the Capitol bike trail that they say is expected to flood.